So at the job, I was charged for um, official misconduct, aggravated battery, um, failure to report, and I believe the one of them was bringing in contraband. As I was learning about these charges, um, I, I was scared. You know, I just never thought I'd see myself on that side of the of that side of the road. You know, being behind a cell and, and being shaken down and and having my picture taken like that. You go through your whole life trying to do things the right way. Um, and you try to be, set a good example for people and, and try to look out for people. And, and for that to happen to me in that, in that kind of way, it, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just didn't know what to do. I was just lost. Literally weeks prior, he's getting recommendations and recognition from work about being an exemplary employee. Like he was the model employee. They're telling him that we want our guys to be like you. And then to hear the other side of this, it's like, how did we get here? So when we met with the attorney, basically what he was telling us is that he was just starting with the hard facts. He was saying, Johan's gonna, he could do up to 10 years for this um, if he's guilty um, and he, he's, you know, he's gonna go to jail. Don't focus on trying to get him out of jail because Johan at this point is locked up and um, I have to pay his bail. He kept telling me not to pay his bail. He's like, don't pay his bail, pay me first don't pay his bail. I'm like, I'm not gonna leave my husband in jail for something he didn't do. So we're probably about, we're already at this point, a year, maybe two years at this point into the case, yeah, like two three, years, two yeah, and a half two years. years. Yeah, two and a half years. Two and a half years into the case. Working, working, and literally sure. every single court date is a continuance, nothing. And we haven't really met with them. We haven't discussed a plan. No. We haven't discussed anything. And they finally come to us and they're like, hey, you know, this has been going on for so long. I'm like, I need answers. I need to know what's going on. Why is this taking so long? It should be an easy case. He didn't do it. And they're like, well, we got some good news. The prosecutor wants to offer you a deal. He'll probably only do a maximum a year or two. To hear that he's gonna have to do two years is like, are you crazy? So at that point, I just started searching new lawyers, and we came upon David Smith. Um, he Smith. had five stars, five no stars. negative reviews, period. Yep. And I'm reading his reviews, and I'm like, look at this guy. Look what they said about this yeah. guy. I'm like, we should call him. And I did call him. I left him a voicemail telling him that we desperately needed help and that um, we would love to meet with him and see if he can take over our case. And he didn't answer at the time, but he did return my call promptly, and we set up a date to meet. The first time I got to talk to David, um, I remember as though it was yesterday. And we got to chatting about what was going on in the case, and to be honest, it, 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 David Smith's one of those guys, man, that when you initially talk to him, he, he makes you feel so comfortable. He sets himself apart as far as like, when you talk to him, you know it's not always about money. You know, it's it's not about you need to do this for me and I'll do this for you. When I talked to David, he he, he literally took a lot of stress that was on my shoulders, just 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 based off of that first conversation, and he he made me feel confident. Dave David came in and he was Superman. We would go months, years without talking to the previous lawyer. We would have to contact them. Exactly. David always reached out to us. Anytime he had a question, anytime he he had an aha moment or he yeah. found something that yeah, he moments. would, and we love those, he would call us excited like, hey, I just saw this in this interview and he's like, I'm on your side. And I think he needed that. And it was good for me to see him happy again and to feel confident again and to feel like he was gonna, there was light at the end of the tunnel and he could make it through it. Waking up on the day of the, um, of the trial, um, getting ready to find out uh, what the judge's decision was. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've been that nervous and I, and I can still remember it, man. It's, and the judge said like, you know, yo, like um, he, went, he went through all my charges and then he broke them down and, and then he said that he was dismissing everything. You know, and, and that for me at that time, man, I, I just lost, I couldn't control it. I just started crying, you know, and, and I, I, I remember David calling me after and I was talking to him and he was cheering and he was like, yo, we did it. And I, 
I was just lost for words. I, I couldn't even speak, you know, like, because this is the moment we've been waiting for this, you know, for five years, for almost five years. It, they, they included us in everything. They genuinely cared about how we were doing along the way. With every court appearance, they would check on us. They would yeah. say, how do you feel? Do you have any questions? And it wasn't just David, it was Paul. It was easy. Like you truly just felt like you were a part of something. And even outside of our case, me and Johan have discussed, like, we love these guys. Yeah, like, they family. don't know what they've done for us as, as a team, what they've done for us. Like, we are beyond happy, and we couldn't have got where we are today and got the, the deliberation and the judgment that we got without them. Yeah. I don't think it would have went this way had we had not met them. Working with Chicago trusted attorneys has definitely been an experience that we would never forget. And I think going forward for anyone who needs help, Chicago Trusted Attorneys is the way to go. There's no other attorney out there that can help you the way that they helped us.